Dr. Hassan Abbas, now you're mentioning that agricultural practices need to shift and need to become more sustainable. How does that happen in a country with a growing and swelling population? How do you make that shift, which is also sustainable, but also doesn't hurt the people? Okay, that's, that's again a very good question. Uh, well, the way to move forward is uh, to create economic engines which benefit people. Like if you bring in a technology, give it to the farmers, and the farmers start earning more with that technology. And farmers need to spend less with that technology. Then the technology will be adopted by the farmer. And those kind of technologies are around the corner. Uh, they are developing in some parts of the world. Uh, my own organization is working on those technologies. And uh, those are the technologies which would actually reduce the requirement of water in the irrigation sector uh, by tenfolds compared to our usage today. And at the same time, those technologies, they reduce the amount of fertilizers required, they reduce the amount of pesticides and herbicides required, and they increase the per acre yields. So if a, per, if a farmer doesn't have to spend money on herbicides and pesticides, and he gets better yield and doesn't have to spend much on water and the water is always available to him through efficient means, then that technology will automatically make his space within the uh, economic environment of the country. Right. So you have to first think of an economic engine and then think of the technology. And, 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 and there's, there, there are quite a few economic engines that can sustain those technologies. Right.